So we at CryEngine are proud to bring you a static FBX pipeline that supports material generation, LODs, and proxies in the latest release of 5.2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the steps to get a static ball, in this case what you see on the screen, into the editor with the LODs as it shows over here, and the proxy which will allow us for collision. All I'm going to do is go into Maya, in this case, export out the FBX, and then we'll jump right into the editor. So I'm going to go and do export all on my desktop, and I'm just going to name this one ball test. I'm going to minimize that, and then I'm going to open up the engine. And down here in the FBX import of the tools, we have static geometry. We want to click that. I'm going to maximize it. from the desktop, the ball test, and you'll notice how it just drops right in. So right now we don't have a material assigned to it, all we have is the geometry, which over on the left side you can see. And if we click on this, it allows us to go after the LODs that we talked about, and due to the naming it knows that this is the second LOD and that's the first LOD, but we're working with LOD 0 right here. So if I were to go to my material and I click on the proxy sub, because all these are sub-materials, I want to go to physicalization and I want to drop this down and select proxy only, no draw. And In doing so, now we have our high resolution mesh, but we still don't have a material and that's because we have to save the object and then generate the material. So this is basically what I'm bringing in. If we go to the target group, it's going to be the ball, the mesh, the proxy, and then the LODs. So I'm going to press up here the Save icon, and we're going to go into Objects, and we're going to create a new folder, and we'll call this one Ball Test. We're going to go into the Ball Test, and we're going to name the CGF the same thing. So let's let it compile for a second. And now I'm ready to create my material. So down on the right here, you'll see that we have Generate Material. And these are the two textures that we had inside of Maya. So if I go in and just say Ball Test, and click Save, you can now notice that it's compiling the material. So let's close that, and we can come back into our brush, Objects, ball test, and I'm going to double click that and drag it into the scene. And you'll notice right away that we have our ball that we had before in the scene. And if we go to console, let's go ahead and do p underscore draw underscore helpers. And I'm going to turn this to one, and then we have the proxy mesh. So what we've done is we've taken a mesh out of Maya just as FBX, we drug it into the scene, and within just a few minutes, we have geometry that has the proper submaterials and material made. It even converted those textures into a TIFF file to be supported in the engine. And this is all drag and drop, and you can use it on any product that supports FBX export. So I hope you're glad to see the progress that we've made in the FBX pipeline, and look forward to more advancements regarding all the other types of functionality that we bring with the engine, and it's going to keep getting better and better for the FBX pipeline in the following releases to come.